Let's understand the proof of multiple lines in parallel using corresponding angles. Statement of this proof says, if L is parallel to N and M is parallel to N, that means lines L and M are parallel to the same line N, then this implies that L is parallel to M. That means this line is parallel to this line also. Let's understand the problem using real life objects. Here we have three pencils P1, P2 and P3. We can see that P1 is parallel to P2 but P2 is not parallel to P3. So we cannot say that P1 is parallel to P3. So here we cannot say P1 parallel P3. Let's see the second scenario. Here P1 is parallel to P2, P2 is parallel to P3. So we can say that P1 is parallel to P3. So we can say P1 parallel P3. So here in this proof, we are given that L is parallel to N, M is parallel to N and we have to prove that L is parallel to M. Let's perform a construction. Draw transversal T cutting L, M and N at E, F and G respectively. So here is our transversal. This is our transversal T cutting L at E, M at F and N at G. Let's start the proof. Here for proving this, we will take first one pair of parallel lines. We will apply the theorem or axiom we know and identify the angles which can be said equal. So first we will take line L and N and we can name these angles also here. Call this 1, call this 2 and call this 3. Since L is parallel to N and here we can apply the corresponding angle axiom. By corresponding angle axiom we can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 3. So angle 1 is equal to angle 3. By corresponding angle axiom same thing can be done for the other pair of parallel lines and the other pair of parallel lines is line M is parallel to line N so here also we can apply corresponding angle axiom and say that angle 2 is equal to angle 3 so angle 2 is equal to angle 3 here we can call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 so basically we are doing the same thing for obtaining equations 1 and 2. From 1 and 2 we can say this implies that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Now we will apply the converse of corresponding angle axiom according to which if corresponding angles are equal then the lines are parallel. So we can see that angles 1 and 2 are the corresponding angles for lines L and M. So by converse of corresponding angle axiom we have line L is parallel to line M and this is what we have to prove here. Let's summarize what we have learnt in this proof. If line L is parallel to line N and line M is parallel to line N then line L is parallel to line M. For this proof we have taken two lines at a time. And for this proof, we have used corresponding angle axiom as well as its converse.